February 7, 1920, to this modest household in Kansang, 30 miles from Shanghai, is born a child whose vision, skill and dedication will change the world. The son of a teacher, Ann Wang, pictured here with his sister Sue Wang, is an outstanding student who was raised and educated in the area where his father's ancestors lived for 600 years. On graduation from high school at age 17, he is accepted by China's most prestigious seat of learning, Chao Tung University in Shanghai. With the highest entrance exam scores in his class, An Wang is immediately made class president, a position which he holds for four years. He obtains his degree in electrical engineering in 1940 and remains at the university as a teaching assistant. The turbulence of the war is having a profound effect on China and an opportunity arises to design and build radio transmitters for the government. An Wang seizes this opportunity and exhibits the first signs of his creative genius. 1945, a program to send the most highly trained students to the United States results in An Wang enrolling at Harvard University. Within three years, he graduates with a PhD in applied physics. May 1948, the offer of a research fellowship at the Harvard Computation Laboratory is accepted and An Wang is set a challenge by one of the pioneers of computer development, Dr. Howard Aiken. The challenge? To record and read magnetically stored information without mechanical motion. In less than three weeks, the solution is found. Magnetic memory cores. Dr. Wang has discovered the key which will unlock the door to the computer age. He continues to develop the memory cores for use in one of the world's first computers, the Mark IV. 1951, and the computation laboratory decides to discontinue computer research. Dr. Wang's initial contract is due to lapse, so he decides to leave and set up his own business. The 30th of June, and Wang Laboratories opens for business in the office which was once here at 296 Columbus Avenue, Boston. The line of business? The manufacture and sales of Deltamax memory cores. Demand is steady and business is reasonably brisk. Among Dr. Wang's early research customers is none other than the industry giant IBM. 1955 and Dr. Wang's patent for his pulse controlling device is finally accepted. The path to achieving this end was not particularly smooth. Shortly after this, Wang Laboratories becomes duly incorporated. Wang Laboratories is growing rapidly and Dr. Wang is applying his skill and knowledge in many areas of business. The opportunities for a user-friendly calculator are enormous. 1965 and Wang Laboratories revolutionizes business calculations with Loci, a user-friendly desktop calculator whose operational principles are based on logarithms. Another first for Wang. By 1966, 10 Loci's a month are being sold at an average price of $6,500. The first Loci has only been on the market for 10 months and the second generation product is launched, the Model 300. In six months, Model 300 sales eclipse loci sales for the entire year. Wang Laboratories and the calculator market is expanding at an incredible rate. Calculator sales rise in US dollars from 2.5 million in 1965 to 3.8 million dollars in 1966, 1967 and sales rocket to 6.9 million dollars as the calculator market is extended. Staff levels rise from 35 in 1964 to 400 in 1967 at the new Wang building in Tewkesbury. August 2nd, 1967 and Wang Laboratories goes public with the announcement of a 240,000 share offer. The result is a market capitalization of around $70 million. An amazing financial coup for the company which had a net worth of just $1 million the day before. Stock traded at $40 a share will rise as high as $120 before the end of the year. The February 1969 issue of Product Engineer and Dr. Wang features on the cover with yet another calculator innovation, the 700. November 1971, 
Having identified the limitations of the calculator market, Wang Laboratories enter the word processing market with the launch of the 1200 word processing system. The system receives an extremely enthusiastic reception by overburdened typists. The Syntopican Trade Show at New York City, June 1976, sees the launch of the first screen-based, truly user-friendly word processing system, the Wang WPS. As with the 1200, the market acceptance is immediate and orders are flying in. Fred Wang is appointed the head of the newly formed word processing operation, which will change forever office procedure throughout the world, even in offices in such far-flung outposts as New Zealand. Wang New Zealand Limited began operation as a wholly owned subsidiary of Wang Laboratories in Auckland in 1976. From this building at 302 Great North Road in Grey Lynn, Mike Clarkin and a select group of four took up the reins previously held by the New Zealand agent Fletcher Health and Science. The formation of Wang New Zealand introduced the country to the WPS word processing system. This was followed closely by the launch of the flagship product, the VS Mini Computer. In the following years, the New Zealand operation was to undergo a number of location changes. A fire caused by the combustion of oily rags in a gun shop on the premises forced an unplanned departure from Great North Road. Temporary premises were found at McColl Street before moving to a more permanent base in Eden House. Initially taking over the first floor, this area was soon outgrown and the fifth floor was leased to accommodate an aggressive expansion program. Service and maintenance was being carried out at this time at number 5 St. Benedict Street. On a national basis, offices were being opened and staffed in other key locations. Head office was most recently moved to City Road, while servicing is carried out at Wilkins Street and hardware is stored at Freight Place in Mangere. The first major sale for Wang New Zealand was in Auckland to Farmers Co-op in 1978. The second was soon affected by Adrian Foster, Wellington's first salesperson in 1979. The extremely wise investor was none other than Lion Breweries, who identified a VS80 system as a solution to their data processing challenges. Since the initial introduction of Wang products, Wang New Zealand has established a number of successful business partnerships in both hardware and software environments. These partnerships have been fundamental in offering complete solutions to customers' business needs. In 1989, following his appointment to the position of Chief Executive Officer, Rick Miller launched Operation Customer. This program was designed specifically to focus on customer business needs and was heavily supported by the quality leadership process. This process is a cultural realignment necessary to commit to a customer-driven philosophy. These objectives were further enhanced by the introduction of the Innovation on Standards program, aimed squarely at delivering solutions to customer business needs. Our future is determined by all the decisions which we make today. Before considering the future, let us reflect on the combination of people and progress which has brought Wang New Zealand to this point.
For years, computer companies have attacked IBM's hold on information processing, only to be slapped down. Again and again. Some were too small, some too slow, and some just didn't have the weapons to fight back. Until Wang. Wang mini computers have enough power to beat IBM in the battle for your office. Wang. Just give us a shot. Dr. Wang died in March 1990, but his vision remains for us to fulfill. That fulfillment is with us now in the form of Wang's third generation of products in the open systems arena and completes the transformation into a services-led company. Wang will continue to provide innovative services aimed at addressing customers' business needs into the 90s and beyond. One of the key vehicles in delivering these services is Office 2000. Richard W. Miller, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer, says, We believe that knowledge of work organization and information flow in specific industries, as well as the responsibility for providing tailored computing solutions to customers, is critical to success in the evolving office computing markets of the 1990s. Thank you.